Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we're gonna do something totally different, something relaxing, something calming. And um, there's a lot of worry in the world, and there seems to be an awful lot of anxiety, and people, I just am a massive believer in self-care, and a huge part of that is face masks. So I'm creating this face mask Friday. Every Friday, I'm gonna sit down on camera, I'm gonna answer your questions, and I'm gonna apply a face mask, talk you through what the pros and cons of the mask is, but also just answer all the questions that you might have. I wanna keep this to under 15 minutes, which I think is the optimum time you should have a face mask on. So what I want you to do is, pause this video, go and grab your favorite mask or your favorite lotion or something that you just want to spend 15 minutes pampering yourself with. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Champneys, a little something special clay face mask. I am feeling, the weather is gorgeous here, I'm feeling super greasy though, because um, it is so hot here in the UK um, and when it gets hot, I become an oil slick. So this is beautiful. It's filled with um, clays, which are gonna help just with draw some of that excess oil. It's also got some humectants and hydrants in there, so I'm not gonna be really dry after using it because I hate that in a clay mask. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful mask. Um, it's got charcoal in it. I find charcoal is a bit of a weird ingredient. Um, it does work. <sighs> I just think sometimes it's got a bit gimmicky, and um, it can be great again for withdrawing impurities from the skin, but I think it's got a little bit gimmicky. But this product is gorgeous. I love this face mask. It's the closest thing you can get to a spa, the Champneys range actually, if you haven't tried them out, um, if you haven't tried them out, definitely look them out. They're available in boots here in the UK, but they're available in online as well. It's They're a really great spa range here in the UK, but these masks, the smell, it just smells like you're on a beach, you're having a massage and it's all super calming, super lovely and I am a huge fan of all their range. Their hydrating one is really good, their glowing one is fantastic and their calming one will send you to sleep like that. So leave me a comment below, get your face masks on, leave me a comment below and let me know which mask you're trying, which mask you're using because um, I'd love to know and I'll probably end up buying them and sampling them myself. So let's get into a few questions that you guys have been asking. First of all, um, first question came from somebody who asked why I never review Paula's Choice. Well, there's no shade, there's no tea, there's no drama behind it. I just generally don't really like the product that much. Um, some of their products are really good. Um, I think Paula, when she came out with the product line, it was all about natural, it was all about um, ingredients based, it was all about taking the nasties out of the product, which I absolutely love, fully appreciate and think is fantastic. She then sold the product line to a company and when it came back, they started adding in some of these nasties again and it became just, it lost a lot of its value, ethos and I think it's unique selling point. I'm just not excited by the brand. I like to review things I'm excited by and I'm just not excited by the brand. Obviously, I'd love for you to leave me a comment, let me know what products you like um, from her line because I might give some of them a go, but there's no shade, there's no drama. I just, I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. Um, obviously, you can see we've just crossed 2,000 subscribers, so thank you all so, so much, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, one of you guys asked me, where do I want to be at the end of the year? Well, I'd like to be on holiday. I'd like this quarantine to be over. I'd like this lockdown to be over. I'd love to be on holiday. Um, I'm going to be booking a holiday to Cuba next year sometime. So um, one of our subscribers was raving about Cuba. And then I said to my friend, oh, we've never really thought about Cuba, have we? And she was like, no. And I read some stuff online that said, go there while it's still kind of a bit untapped. It's only just started opening up. Um, and so it's a great time to go before, you know, some of the culture and the uniqueness that makes it there um, is spoiled. So we're looking into Cuba. So that's where I hope to be at the end of the year, packing, ready to go to Cuba. However, in terms of the channel, where do I want to be? I'd love, 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 love if we could hit 10,000 subscribers. That would be outrageous, amazing. That's my, my next big milestone I'd love to get to. Um, I'd love to, uh, you know, just to sh keep, just keep doing it. I don't want to say something cliche. I don't want to be that, you know, that Miss World competition where they all go and say, I want world peace and all that cliche worthy stuff. I don't want to be like that. But I would like for us just to keep growing this fantastic community. I'd love, love, love to be able to do, basically have enough stuff that I can do weekly reviews on products and I can just get through all of the amazing brands that are out there and um, so you guys know what's good what's bad and that we can just bring a bit of education to the whole skincare game that's was quite a long-winded and rambling answer but 
You know what I mean? I also want to do the first live stream. I feel really nervous and really ridiculously nervous for no apparent reason. I can talk for England, but I get really nervous at the idea of doing a live stream. You guys have asked, could I do like a live Q&A? Um, I would love to do that. Um, I'm just really nervous for some reason at doing it. However, by, I am going to bite the bullet. So where I would like to be is confident at being able to do live streams. So we can do live Q&As. I just think that'd be fantastic. And I guess this is kind of the first step, the chatty style video on getting towards that. So yeah, that's where I, I would like to be. Um, someone else asked me, what do I hate most about my skin? Do you know what? They said it in a really lovely way. They said, you have gorgeous skin. What do you not like about it? Do you know what? I hated my skin for years. And then I thought that's a really unhealthy mindset to be in. Whatever you have going on in your skin, say you've got hyperpigmentation, say you've got a few wrinkles, say you've got, even if you've got some scarring or something, it doesn't really matter. Skin is skin. At the basis, skin performs a function, which is to protect everything that goes on inside our body. Um, it's also, you know, to moderate our heat, our temperature and things like that. It provides, it provides a function. If it's doing that at the basis, it's 95% perfect. Yes, I wish my skin was, what. but what I'm trying to say is don't beat yourself up about your skin. I hated my skin for years and it took me years to actually realise that my skin isn't that bad. And the more I love it, the better it'll look. Um, what do I not like about it? At the moment, I look really tired because I've got a dog that gets me up at half past six every morning and I'm not getting enough sleep. <laughs> so the tiredness, I would say. Um, what do I the have? Just generally, I'm quite greasy. I'm quite oil slicky. Um, it's gorgeous. If you can see it out the window, it is lush here in the UK. I am in love with the weather. Got a short sleeve shirt on and I'm enjoying the sun. But literally, after going out for about five minutes, I'm an oil slick. So if I could change that, I guess I would. But you know what? With the oil comes less likelihood of getting wrinkles down the line. So every pro, con, it's kind of that. Message here is love your skin. Um, one person asked, do we do more reviews and more things for people with darker skin tones? Yes. Absolutely, we can do. Um, I haven't had a specific request for a video. Um, I always try to be as inclusive as possible because actually everyone's skin is unique. It really doesn't matter what your skin type is, what your coloration is. Everyone's skin is unique. Um, but I do try to be as inclusive as possible. But yeah, if you guys have anything, you know, if um, relating to darker complexions that you want to know, questions, leave me a comment below. I would love, love, love to address that because I don't think... Um, there's anything wrong with someone of a light skin complexion talking about and supporting people with dark skin. I think, you know, this is 2020. We don't all have to stick to um, one particular type of personal review. We should be covering everybody that chooses to follow us. So yeah, I'd love to know. Sound off in the comments if you've got any particular reviews you want and I'll happily do them. Um, one of the common questions I always get is, if I went to a desert island, what are the products that I would take? Uh, it depends how many I could take. So I would obviously take SPF because I'm assuming my desert island's hot. I'm not. Go I'm not. I'm not going to a deserted island that's freezing cold. I just. I'm putting my foot down. As long as it's hot, I take my sunscreen because you're going to need that. Um, I would definitely, definitely, definitely take a glycolic acid. And I'm assuming actually it's deserted, so no one will see me. Really, it doesn't matter, does it? Because no one's going to see me. But pretending, you know, people might visit. Take a glycolic acid because. I think if you don't exfoliate, there's very little point doing the rest of your skincare because you're just going to be putting skincare on mountains and mountains of dead skin. So definitely, definitely would take my glycolic acid exfoliator. And I'd probably also, you'd need a moisturiser. I would probably take my La Roche-Posay Sica Plus Balm. Done. The rest of it is all nice to have, but I need to exfoliate, I need to moisturise, and I need good sun factor protection. Even cleansing, there's alternatives to cleansing. Definitely, definitely, definitely need those three steps though. Um, coming on to like the next question that oh, I get asked this loads, loads, loads. And people always ask how old I am. Well, a lady never reveals her age. However, I'm no lady, so I don't think it really matters. Um, I'm 36, which means I'm in my mid thirties. I'll say mid thirties prime. Um, it's quite depressing when you get to this age because I think as long as you're progressing every single year, who cares what age you are? I don't. But it's quite depressing when all of a sudden you form into a different age category. Like if you look at the um, like demographic stuff on YouTube, it's all like 18 to 35 and suddenly you're not in that anymore. You find yourself on the wrong side of it. It's like, oh, you're ticking a different box on forms. Suddenly you feel a whole lot older than you did literally like 12 months ago. Um, would I say I've got great skin for my age? 
No, I would say I've taken care of my skin from a super young age and you reap the benefits because all skincare is kind of like cumulative. So you make sure that you're starting young and but equally it's never too late to start so no I don't, I'm kind of on a journey um, with my skin I love my skin at the moment I have done for like the past two years I've learned to love it it ain't perfect but I love my skin and this is kind of what empowered me to start this channel to kind of hopefully everybody else will love their skin and yeah that's it um, another thing people always ask is how what skincare mistakes did I always make Ugh, way 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 too many um what skin care mistakes did I make? Um, scrubbing my skin. I was a huge fan of the apricot scrub. I loved the smell. I loved the good. I hated my skin, and I think like scrubbing it till it was red raw was kind of like me a cathartic way of me telling it how much I hated it. Just did untold long term damage. Um, I always, always, always went in the sun way too much. I started using the SPF at such an older age, like probably like five years ago. I know. It's really bad. And I, I knew, I just chose not to. I like the tan. I hated the feeling of SPF. We're fortunate now that, you know, most FP, SPF, well, you can get an SPF that doesn't feel like you're wearing a heavy SPF, but I never wore SPF. And I'm paying the prices because one of the big things I've got wrong with my skin now is hyperpigmentation. And that's all the scrubbing and all the SPFs. So when I tell you to wear an SPF, follow my instruction because <laughs> I'm reaping, like, the benefit. I'm reaping the repercussions of not wearing it now, which is a shame, but, you know, we live buy our things um someone said about um asked me would i have any treatments done that are like invasive procedures oh hell yes i love 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 the idea of having plastic surgery fillers i'd have all that done i think you need to do you if you are happy growing old gracefully that's absolutely fine i want to grow old disgracefully and i fully intend to maximize what has been created to enhance what i already have um i would definitely have botox because it is proven to as long as you're having it done by a licensed professional that knows what they're doing that goes for any of these things um you can get that youthful great results Um, i want to try dermaplaning I want to try microdermabrasion. I haven't tried any of these things, which is weird because I work with people that deliver them day in, day out. I've just never tried any of them, but it's not to say I won't down the line and you guys will be the first to know when I do. Anyway, I've had this on. Let's have a look at the time. Five minutes, 10 minutes, ready to wash off. Let me know what mask you use, guys. Let me know questions that you want to ask me next week. I'm going to make this a weekly thing and I love, love, love chatting to you guys. You literally made my isolation so much better. Whatever, wherever in the world you are, sending lots of love and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.